electrical impedance, images in norm, electrical impedance, images in norm. While evaluating the images, the following factors are to be taken into account. Electroimpedance anatomy. Correspondence of the electroimpedance, image to the age type of the breast structure. Presence of contour deformation of the image. Abnormality in the internal structures architectonics. Presence of focal masses, and the pattern of the contour around them. Difference in images, depending on the scanning position and side. Symmetry in the diagram of the frequency distribution of electroconductivity. Electrical impedance, images in norm. EIM, juvenile type, 22 years. 50 kHz. Correspondence of the electrical impedance, image to the age type of mammary glands structure. Absence of deformations of the image contours. Distinct architectonics of internal structures. Absence of focal masses. Absence of a difference in images depending on the patient position and side of scanning. Symmetry of the graph of frequency distribution of the conductivity. Electrical impedance, images in norm. EIM. Reproductive type. 39 years. 50 kHz. Correspondence of the electrical impedance, image to the age type of mammary glands structure. Absence of deformations of the image contours. Distinct architectonics of internal structures. Absence of focal masses. Absence of a difference in images depending on the patient position and side of scanning. Symmetry of the graph of frequency distribution of the conductivity. Electrical impedance, images in norm. EIM. Premenopause type, 43 years. 50 kHz. Correspondence of the electrical impedance, image to the age type of mammary glands structure. Absence of deformations of the image contours. Distinct architectonics of internal structures. Absence of focal masses. Absence of a difference in images depending on the patient position and side of scanning. Symmetry of the graph of frequency distribution of the conductivity. Electrical impedance, images in norm. EIM. Postmenopausal type, 63 years. 50 kHz. Correspondence of the electrical impedance, image to the age type of mammary glands structure. Absence of deformations of the image contours. Distinct architectonics of internal structures. Absence of focal masses. Absence of a difference in images depending on the patient position and side of scanning. Symmetry of the graph of frequency distribution of the conductivity, mammary gland electroconductivity in norm. Quantitative estimation of electroimpedance. Images revealed. There is no statistically significant difference between the average electroconductivity indices at different positions of examination, lying, standing, and various sides of scanning, left, right, at all levels in respective age groups and at a frequency of 50 kHz and 10 kHz, since there are no significant changes in the mammary blood flow depending on the body position and side of scanning of the patient. There is no statistically significant difference in the indices of the mammary gland electroconductivity, in norm electroconductivity in different phases of MC, in corresponding groups at both scan frequencies. In spite of the action of different hormones on the mammary gland tissues, Therefore for work, it is possible to use average indices of electroconductivity, without an account of the position and the side of scanning. Mean electroconductivity indices of the mammary glands in norm in first and second phases of the menstrual cycle at women of different age groups and in postmenopause, older 51 years. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level, plus or minus SD. 
Mammary gland electroconductivity in norm. Mammary gland electroconductivity in norm. With the age indices of average electroconductivity of mammary glands are increased on all levels of scanning. The process of changing of electroconductivity seems to reflect stages of involutive changes in the structure of mammary glands. Decreasing of the quantity of glandular tissue and increasing of the quantity of connective and fatty tissue on the one hand have to be accompanied by decreasing of electroconductivity indices but on the other hand, physiological dilatation and sometimes cystic dilatation of lactiferous ducts pressed by fibrous tissue at women of the perimenopausal period lead to increasing of electroconductivity indices. At increasing of the depth of scanning electroconductivity, indices are decreased on both frequencies in all age groups in both phases of the MC. This is explained by decreasing of the quantity of glandular tissue with well-developed lactiferous ducts tree in accordance with increasing of the depth of scanning. Regularities of change in electroconductivity of all levels are the same that allows to use only the second level indices in the work. In all cases in norm, electroconductivity of mammary glands at 10 kHz is statistically validly less than electroconductivity at 50 kHz that is explained by the singular passing of electrical current at different frequencies on intercellular and intracellular spaces.